Hey everybody, Joe Cortez and James Burns of FrontRowPreps.com, powered by Chicken Ranch Casino and Golden Bear Physical Therapy. Time once again, Burnsy, for our weekly large and small school rankings presented by Valley Orthopedic, the bone and joint specialists, and proud supporters of high school athletics throughout the Front Row region. Burnsy, no change here in our top five. It's been set in stone for quite a while, but uh, we have some potential this week for some real upheaval. Yeah, as, as Joe just mentioned, the, 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 our top five has pretty much looked the same the last few weeks. Uh, but this week, going into the final week of the regular season, our final, um, our final top ten poll, there's a chance for a lot of movement, a lot of, a lot of change up here. Starting with number two, Buhat Colony. They play against Atwater on Friday, their longtime rival uh, in, the, in the annual Bloss Bowl. Um, if you would have asked us back at the end of summer, beginning of fall, if this would have been a meaningful game. We would have said no. We would not, we would, there's no way we would have forecasted that Atwater would have put itself in position for a CCC title. We were thinking teams like Patterson and Merced. Uh, but Atwater's had a tremendous season. Absolutely. Uh, they were able to come back and beat Merced put, and, and put themselves in position to make this game important. And uh, if you're Buhat Colony, uh, you know, I think you've got to be you got to be on your toes here. I mean, this is this is a title game in the CCC. Atwater's coming in with a lot of steam. You got guys a lot to play for, though. Oh, Ten and no perfect season. They do. They do. And then, of course, the big game, our game of the week, Central Catholic hosting Oakdale. Yeah. And what seems to always determine yeah. the Valley Oak League champion. And this is one of those games we've been talking about since the start of VOL play. Uh, we knew it would likely come down to this. Central is hosting Oakdale. Oakdale is playing for a shot, a share of the, the VOL title. If they can somehow upset Central Catholic, Manteca, who's sitting here right in the middle, uh, would also benefit from that. We find ourselves in a situation that we're all too familiar with, a three-way split in the Valley Oak League. Um, Central Catholic, you talked about Buick County playing for a lot. Central Catholic has won five straight. They're one of the hottest teams in the region. They're starting to get healthy. Um, and they know what they're playing for. I mean, this is, this is the game. This is the big game. Tight end Nick Sani, though, questionable for Friday night. Yeah. Okay, moving over to the small school rankings. One through four, again, set in stone. Yeah. Number five has been kind of our revolving door this season. Yeah, uh, this week we have Amador up at number five after they just they just pasted Sonora 49-14. to Handed the Wildcats their first ever league loss in the Mother Load League. Congratulations. And, and it was well-deserved from, from whistle to... The final whistle. They were. They were. They were. The, they were the better. Team. They were the dominant force. Gunner Drake throws five touchdown passes. Nash Wiley, the the lineman, converted into a tight end. He's got three touchdown receptions, and the defense scores a touchdown. Baxter, Nigo Baxter, Nigo Baxter, uh, rumbles in. So Amador looked really good that night, and and I wouldn't, uh, you know, having seen that we've seen uh, we've seen Sonora, we've seen Calaveras, we've seen Am uh, Amador now. Amador to me was just awfully impressive on their home field. They're elevated to number five in this week's poll, but they got a tough one. They got the rival Argonaut on Friday. So that's a look at our large and school rankings, one through five. For the rest of our top ten, be sure to visit frontrowpreps.com. For James Burns, I'm Joe Cortez. Thanks for stopping by.